So we're in the 2015 Acura TLX. Uh, this is the V6 with the SHR wheel drive and all the bells and whistles. Well, one of the technology features on this car I love and what it is, it's called Lane Keeping Assist. There's similar technologies out there from other manufacturers. Well, this is Acura's version. So what you do, I have it activated. It's a button on the steering wheel here. And I'm gonna activate also my radar cruise control. And we're gonna do, we're gonna set it at 50 miles per hour. We're in the United States right now. So this car is in miles per hour. We're set at 50 miles an hour. Now, what it does using a combination of cameras and radar, it senses the lines and the radar is gonna sense the vehicle's speed in front of us. So what we're gonna do here is I have no foot on the brake or the gas. And after these cars go by here, I'm just gonna show you what this can do. Here we go. I've got no hands on the steering wheel. Now I don't recommend that you do this. I am ready to grab control at any time here. Okay, so we're going here. Now what it's gonna do in a second though, it's gonna tell me that it needs some steering input. Okay, steering required. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a nudge here so it knows that I'm actually awake and doing something. Now we're even going around a slight bend. And once again, look ma, no hands. This is not an autonomous car by any means. This is strictly a safety aid and what is, made to do is to aid you in times where you might not be paying attention or for instance you drop something I dropped my sunglasses and and okay I need to put steering required it says but okay now it's back into its mode now I dropped my glasses and I'm bending down to get them you know it's those times that you just have that momentary lapse and next thing you know you're on the other side of the street Another thing that's really good for is if you're in stop and go traffic in rush hour and you put that on along with the adaptive cruise and it makes the drive a lot less stressful. So you know what, this is just a small snapshot of what's going to be available or what will come standard in cars of the future. So look for it in your next car.